check out the social media these days, you will find that Mars is all over the news. And the reason being that it is closest for the next 15 years. In 2020, as the Mars goes around the Sun, it is closest to the Earth. And the next closest approach will not be there until 2035. So if you have not observed the Mars till now, you better do it. Now let's understand that why does it happen. So when you look at the solar system, you have the sun in the center, then there are eight planets which are going around the sun. You have the Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. The first four planets are the rocky planets, then you have the asteroid belt and then you have the four gas giants. Now each planet is going around the sun in its own orbit and due to this the relative distance between two planets keep changing throughout the year. So sometime they are on the opposite side of the sun. So like let's say I am the sun, so earth would be here and Mars would be here. At this point they would be exactly opposite to each other okay, and farthest from each other and at other times they would be close to each other on one side of the sun. So let's say I am the sun, so earth would be here and Mars would be here. Okay, And as they go in the orbit, at one point of time, the distance between them would be the least for that year or relatively to other years. And when that happens, we call it the closest approach. And this year, it got really, really close, making the Mars appear brighter and bigger in our sky and you must have noticed this thing that if you go outside and observe the Mars in the night sky you will notice that it is very very bright. Take for example this photograph which was chosen as a port that is astronomy picture of the day and you can see that over the past few months the Mars has been getting bigger and bigger in the size. Now remember, it is only the apparent size that I'm talking about. The actual size remains the same. It's only in our sky that it has been getting bigger. And on the night of 6th October 2020, it was the biggest in our sky until 2035. And as we move forward, we are approaching another important event related to Mars. And that is the Mars opposition. On the night of the 13th October 2020, Mars is going to be at opposition. Now what do we mean by opposition? So when the Sun is there, okay, and the Earth is there, and the Mars is there, when they are in a straight line, this we call as a syzygy, okay, when they are in a straight line making an angle of 180 degree, we call that condition as opposition. And this happens only for the planets which are outside the Earth's orbit. So opposition can only happen for Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Okay, It can never happen for Mercury or Venus. So on 13th October, Mars will be at opposition. Now why is it important? So if they are in a straight line, okay, for example, let's say I am the Earth. Okay, So looking from Earth's perspective, the Sun would be here and the Mars would be here, making an angle of 180 degrees, so exactly in a straight line. Okay, What will happen because of which? That as soon as the Sun sets in our sky, Mars will rise. So Mars will be visible throughout the night time. So we'll have the whole night to observe the Mars. And if you notice the photograph which was chosen as a port, you can see that the Mars is also showing us phases. As it is moving towards the 26th September photograph, its phase is increasing. Just like Moon shows phases, planets also show us phases. On the night of the opposition, Mars will show us the complete disk. Okay, It will be in the full phase. So that is why opposition is very important for observation and photography. So take out some time on this 13th October and observe the red planet in all its glory 
in your sky. To see Mars, you don't need any specific equipment. Just go on your terrace, balcony or any open ground. Look in the east direction just after the sunset and you will find a red star shining very bright in that direction. And that is Mars. If you have a binocular, if you have a telescope, use that and observe the Mars in all its glory. Other than Mars, we have Saturn and Jupiter as well in the sky. Okay. And you know, not just a position, there are other uh, events as well, which happen because of the geometries of the sun and other planets, like conjunction, there is elongation, there is quadrature and lot more. So if you want to know more about them, keep following us and learn about astronomy. So if you like this video and you got to know a new concept about astronomy, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you want to learn astronomy in a structured manner and want to pursue a certificate course in astronomy, just click on the link in the description and start your journey in the field of astronomy today. Until next time, wish you all clear skies.